Hello students, welcome again. In the previous session, we have studied the basic concepts regarding the circle. I have made one video on that. I will give the link in the description. You can watch that video. Today we are going to learn some more concepts of the circle, their properties and some theorems based on them. The first concept that we are going to learn is tangent and second. So let's see how to identify a tangent and a second and how can we distinguish between them. So first is the second. For that let us consider a circle in a plane. Suppose there is one line M which intersects the circle in two distinct points. Such line is called as a second. So from that we can define a second as a line which divides a circle in two distinct points in a plane of a circle is called as second. Here in figure line M is the second. Now let's see what is a tangent. For that let's have one circle and in the plane of circle suppose there is line N which touches the circle at only one point then line N is the tangent. So we can define tangent as a line which touches a circle at one point in a plane of a circle is called as a tangent of the circle. In this figure line N is the tangent. So let's revise to distinguish between a second and a tangent. If there is a circle and there is one line which intersect the circle in two distinct points it's called as a second and if there is a circle and a line which touches a circle in a single point is called as a tangent. Now based on this concept we have one theorem which is called as a tangent theorem. Let us understand the theorem diagrammatically. Suppose there is one circle with center O and there is one point on the circle which is named as point P. If we join O and P we will get OP as a radius. Now if we draw one line which intersects the radius, let us name this line as AB. Line AB intersects the radius OP such that OP is perpendicular to line AB. If we draw another line below line AB which is again perpendicular to OP, below it if we draw another line which is perpendicular to radius OP, we can see here as we move line AB towards point P it is always perpendicular to the radius OP. And finally a line passing through point P which is a tangent of the circle it is also perpendicular to the radius. So from this we can conclude that a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at a point of contact. In the figure there is a circle with center O and P is the point on the radius. And line M is a tangent to the circle which passes through point P. So the radius OP is perpendicular to line M. That means a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. So this is the tangent theorem. Now let us have another theorem which is tangent segment theorem. The statement of the theorem is Tangent segments drawn from an external point to a circle are congruent. We are going to prove this theorem. For that firstly we have to draw a diagram. So let us consider one circle with center O. And there is a tangent which is drawn from an external point P. So PA is the first tangent. Suppose there is another tangent which passes through point P will name that as tangent PB. So line PA and line PB are the two tangents which are drawn to a circle from an external point P. Now in this diagram we have to prove that tangent segment PA and tangent segment PB are congruent. For that we have to do one construction draw segment OP, segment OA and segment OB. By doing this construction we have got two triangles, triangle PAO and triangle PBO. 
So consider these two triangles PAO and PBO. If we can show these two triangles are congruent, then we will get the result. The first constituent is segment AO is congruent to segment BO as these are the radii of the same circle and as we know radii of the same circle are congruent. The second constituent is segment PO is congruent to segment PO as it is a common side for both the triangles. So by hypotenuse side theorem these two triangles are congruent that is triangle PAO is congruent to triangle PBO by hypotenuse side test. We have used here the hypotenuse side test as these two triangles are right angle triangles. Now the question arises why these two triangles are right angle triangles. For that we have to use a tangent theorem. Here in diagram OA is the radius and PA is the tangent and by tangent theorem we know that tangent is always perpendicular at the point of contact that's why OA is perpendicular to line PA similarly radius OB is also perpendicular to another tangent PB that's why OB is also perpendicular to line PB that's why triangle PAO and triangle PBO are two right angle triangles and hence they are congruent by hypotenuse side test and as they are congruent the corresponding sides must be also congruent that is segment AP is congruent to segment BP which are corresponding sides of congruent triangles and that is we want to prove that is tangent segments drawn from an external point to a circle are congruent. I hope you understand the concept. Thanks for watching.